there are enemies on every side. Better armed and better trained, the Philistines are the deadliest threat. leaders like Moses or Joshua to unite them. The Israelites must rely on local heroes, called judges. People like Samson. Mother, come. So stop. I don't know. You must fight them. It's what God wants you to do, Samson. It's why God created you. Remember what his messenger told me. Listen carefully. There are conditions. See to it that you drink no alcohol and eat nothing unclean. And when your son is born, his hair must never be cut. This will be the sign that the boy is a Nazarite. He is given to God from his birth to his death. He will begin to deliver Israel from the Philistines. Your strength comes from God. Your duty is to drive the Philistines away. Instead of fighting the Philistines, Samson falls in love and marries one. <laughs> Does love not come from God? What would you have me do? Reject the woman I fell in love with just because she's a Philistine? Will your love protect us from them? We need to send these Israelites a message, make it clear to them. They cannot take our women. We should never mix. We're not going to get. Where is Simpson? Uh, I don't know. Where is he? He's not here. Father! Father, no! Father, no! No! Do it! Please! No! You are a disgrace to our people. Please. Please, I beg you. Please. Father, no, no, no. Father, no, 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 no. Please. Please, I'm begging you, no. Please, no.
of my snow. You! You will bring Samson to me, and you will do it quickly. And for every day I do not see him, one of you will die. Starting now. No, 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 please, please, no! Philistines are our rulers now. Everyone must do what they think is right. No, Samson. You must do what is right for your people. For God. Not for yourself. You must give yourself up, Samson.
please. of Samson. His girl a new woman. A Philistine woman. Another one. What's her name? Delilah. I know her. Bring her to me. Interesting choice. Not one of us, of course. Why are you with him? Why do you want to know? Don't tell me. You care about him. Is he in love with him? Ask him yourself. He's butchered hundreds of our people. He's changed. He's a different man since he's met me. You really believe that? He will go on killing until we find a way to stop him for good. Does he get his strength? What's the secret? I don't know. You won't tell me. Try to convince him. Have you seen what he's capable of? Maybe this will help. Call it danger, Marie. It's all for you. Until we know a secret. Samson's battle with the Philistines is all but over, and with it, the dreams of an Israelite homeland. Oh, 
stung me against something. Remember me now. Strengthen me once more. Your God has abandoned you, Samson. You are the man who took away my eyes. I am glad of it. For the darkness helps me think. Your God has deserted you and taken your strength with him. No, I can see him more clearly than ever. He wants me to destroy you all! It's over, Samson! Samson's sacrifice kills thousands, but he could never defeat the Philistines on his own. The prophet Samuel has urged the people to unite in God's name. There is no one like the Lord. But after decades of struggle, he too has failed to halt the Philistines. Prophet, we await you. The people's patience Please. is wearing thin. So what is it that troubles you? We are grateful prophets. You have led us for many years. God has led us. Samuel. You are not as young as you were. We are worried. Who will speak to the Lord after you? Who will lead us against the Philistines? My sons will inherit my place. Your sons are corrupt. My sons have been brought up to trust in God and obey his laws. Everything I've done for you, I have done because I walk in God's ways. We know that they take bribes. Everyone knows it. They shame your good name. So, when you are gone and the 
Philistines return and we look to your sons to call on God will God answer no he will not but what do you want a king as other nations have but look what other nations kings do they become tyrants they make slaves of their people not if they are chosen by God anointed by his righteous prophet by you you would reject our God God promised us this land this is God's kingdom he is our only king you have the ear of the Lord Samuel you must ask him to choose a king for us leave me alone all of you I have given everything how oh, they have rejected me and you God but if you say I should give them a king then of course I will but who should it be Justly and wisely and according to God's law. I anoint you the first king of Israel. And I, as God's prophet, help you in any way I can. A new era in Israelite history is beginning. The period of prophets and kings. They must work together to secure the promised land.